Hello everyone and welcome to Motivation and Truth, where we speak about the Word of God being Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth and the life. Many times when we read scripture, especially in the Old Testament, we try and make sense of what was written. We see of the wars, especially Israel, when they were sent out into the, into the promised land, Canaan. We, we hear about the slaughter of the city of Jericho. How they had to kill everything that was in the city. We can't make sense of it. Today when we think war, we see Russia versus Ukraine. And, and therefore, there's a lot of things in scripture that, that we try and figure out. And we, and we just can't find a place for it when we place it into our context today. I want to remind us that the Holy Spirit is the one that inspired the Word of God. And therefore, when we go into deep study and specifically systematic theology, when we start to, to study the whole Scripture as a whole, from Genesis right through to Revelation, everything fits in and everything makes sense in God's timeline. I want to focus on one specific Scripture for this week. And the topic of this Scripture, I'm going to give it rest now, where I get the word rest is when I look at the word Sabbath, Sabbath rest. When I look at the seventh day in creation, God said he rested from all of his work. I want to look into this word rest. And therefore, we're going to focus on one specific scripture. And in me stating that the Holy Spirit inspired all of the word, I want to ask you one thing. Ask the Holy Spirit for revelational word. When we read the Word of God, it's Logos. When we read Scripture from the Bible, it's Logos, written Word of God. We ask the Holy Spirit to take Logos and make it Rhema, which is the revelational Word of God. And so therefore, as we're going to read this one Scripture, I'm going to ask you to focus on the Holy Spirit and ask Him to help you meditate on the Scripture during this week. And this is why. When you look at the news and everything that is happening in the, in the news, people are speaking about food scarcity and people are speaking about the petrol price that is going up because of the Russia-Ukraine war and what is happening in the world markets around that because of that. Now, I don't want us to start to stress because of what's happening because God has given us rest and he has said we can enter his rest. And so therefore, I'm going to focus on three specific scriptures not scriptures, the verses of one, of one chapter. We're going to read about rest. And I'm going to ask you to rest in Him. And this is the scripture. Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy burdened by religious rituals that provide no peace. And I will give you rest, refreshing your souls with salvation. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Follow me as my disciple, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest, renewal, blessed, quiet for your soul. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. I want us to focus on the scripture during this week. Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. And as we go into this week, I'm asking, sit with the Holy Spirit. If there is anything that is on your heart that is a heavy burden, if you feel yourself not at rest, then you are not in Sabbath. And therefore, Satan can attack you with many thoughts to make you worry and stress and fear. Do not allow unbelief to get into your heart. Stay true to the Word of God. Abba Father, I pray every person who is listening to this message. And I'm asking, Lord, that you will give us a supernatural rest as we draw near to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for revealing yourself to us. Amen. Enjoy meditation on that scripture. Bye-bye.